Hi. Um, welcome, 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 welcome to my first, uh, recorded Pathfinder game. Uh, this, this is a session zero. Mm. And a half. No. And a half. It's the well, first session, but, um, the first session that anyone will ever see. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Um, I am Heartless and I will be the Game Master. We will be playing Crypt of the Everflame. <laughs> Real fancy. Real, little cryptic. Yes. Uh, may my players please introduce themselves? Um, no. Okay. I'm audio. <laughs> I can accept that. <laughs> I run the show now, occasionally. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing- I'm gonna be trying out somebody called Shiv Little. Let's see how it fucking goes. <laughs> you're not gonna- you're not gonna say anything more about Shiv Little? Um, their name is this pretty is... self-explanatory. <laughs> Just, they are oh little God. and they have shiv. <laughs> I'm just imagining. You said that, and my brain gave me an image of hi, yes, of a Veggie Tail style knife. Oh with, my God! <laughs> with legs, or I guess it, if it's Veggie Tail style, it wouldn't have arms and legs. So just walking around like that, like hi guys. Oh my God. Shiv <laughs> little. <laughs> Stabs anyway. you, stabs you, stabs you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I am Altaria, and I'm playing D. Chickadee. D's nuts. Why? <laughs> We're literally just starting. Why have you done this? <laughs> Don't put nuts in bird feeders, guys. They're bad. Um, they're, they, they don't eat them. They're too big. Don't take that mm. the wrong way. Anyway, <laughs> D is a Tingu. And I am I can hear my voice struggling, so yeah. Ooh, ah, my turn. Ah Hi, 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 hi. Uh, my name is Sotaro. Uh ah, I'm gonna be playing Flair. Uh a kid with fireworks. That's all I'm gonna say there. Yeah. <laughs> all right so let me start us off with um where we are we are in the little settlement of kasan now kasan is uh located in near mathis uh right uh Right on the river that runs through the Fang Wood. Is that correct? Is that true? <laughs> Let me double check. <laughs> Started off strong already. Yep. Say again, sorry, I have notes <clears throat> to help you. Um, I was just saying that K Kassan is a a small town uh, in near Mathis. Uh, that sits on the river that runs through the Feng Wood. Yes, the Torrendel River. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, Most of you uh, grew up in this town. Whereas one of you yeah. is a more recent addition. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't, don't, don't be suspicious. Be suspicious. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, the two of you who grew up in this town know about the, uh, the quest that happens every, every four years, uh, a couple of 
young people are chosen to go bring the light back from the crypt of the Everflame. And Yeehaw. <laughs> name drop. This Monday things. Mm-hmm. And it is this month, the month of Neff, of which the uh the quest begins. Now it is the first of the month of Neff. And uh Shiv and Flair, you both know that the quest starts on the fourth. But it's not then. It's the first of the month. So what do you do in the morning? <laughs> um I mean, Shiv lives out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does Shiv's morning look like? Um, wake up, make sure... Uh, I mean, it's probably something along the lines of wake up, make sure no animals have gotten to any into anything. Um, feed birds. Like, they probably either acquired chickens through various means. Mm-hmm. Totally legal means. I so say, legal. In parentheses, lying. Um. <laughs> it's not. So, there have been times where uh, a couple no, of the no. townsfolk Sh have Shiv have complained to the mayor about their chickens going missing. But uh, Olmira Tree Song, who you tend hang to out with tend to spend time with has mitigated these concerns with the the chickens decided to do that on their own <laughs> which <laughs> the chickens have unionized <laughs> your honor <laughs> just do that sometimes it's you fine know? just do that <laughs> which, they needed a change of scenery which has gotten Omira her, herself uh, a few strange looks but Considering the fact that she constantly tends to talk to the animals who follow her around. She's already so weird. They She's all... a sneak princess. Exactly. They already look at her so weird. <laughs> Luna love good of town. <laughs> God. Blast from the fucking ancient past. Um, but yeah... Um, definitely just a MacGyvered ass little, you know, tree house. I, can I say it's a tree house? Can it be a tree house? Oh, definitely. Fuck I'm yeah, tree in. house. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, stay out. <laughs> in, in, in fact, the, the tree house that you uh, live in is actually one that was grown by Omira. And then I fucking moved in like a raccoon. <laughs> like I mean, probably. <laughs> like, oh, you grew this place? You're not using it? Fucking mine now. Squatter rights. Um, Omira, yeah, Omira uh, tends to come check up on you after uh, or around basically breakfast time. Uh, sorry, all I can picture is just, like, child peering out, like, cracking boards like cat. Like, all I'm getting is cat vibes of just, like, I am making you aware of my presence, but we are not interacting. <laughs> like, the gentle hissing and, like, pawing under the door kind of shit. <laughs> um... So we're doing great. <laughs> I mean, I figure after like like there's there's a whole there's a whole song and dance for like, you know, this you know, it's like one of those montage scenes in the movie where you get to see like the the complexity of the place. Mm hmm Um and then, you know, after a while, it's the whole, I'm going to go skulk around town, potentially, or go out in the woods and do 
feral child things. Um, <laughs> and so Soto can now take over and free me. I said, fuck, no! <laughs> uh-huh. so- Why you drag me to center stage? <laughs> Soto. Me. Flair uh, lives with her. Uh, their grandfather, mm-hmm. one uh, crazy inventor by the name of Ferris Bristlebottom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, he's a little hard of hearing, so every every single morning he is shouting up to your room, <clears throat> "Flare breakfast!" Flare just. Like, at the top of his lungs. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is very common, and Flair is just grudgingly trying to just slide down the bed. <laughs> and just like... <laughs> and just sighs. Sleepy morning. Ah. And, then <laughs> and he shouts down... He just top of his lungs, top of the, her lungs, just full out, <laughs> and just they do their daily routine of just getting their prosthetic on, mm-hmm. c- putting up their hair, clothes, and mm-hmm. slowly trying to wake up. <laughs> I probably stayed up late a little bit. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, thankfully, most recently, your grandfather hasn't done any experimental work at night, so... (laughs) You weren't woken up in the middle of the night this past... a couple of weeks. (laughs) That's one win! Yeah, uh, at a certain point, like, one's, like, starting to put on the clothes, fl- like, Flair wakes up more fully at this point, it's like, okay, okay, morning, time to do stuff, oh boy, uh, <laughs> I'm probably hyping ourselves up, and just very happily slides down <laughs> towards where, uh, Grandpops is. Mm-hmm, and as you, uh, slide down the uh, very uh, <laughs> definitely hand carved steps um, you come upon the uh, kitchen slash living room of the mm-hmm. house which is also the first room it, it's basically like one room down here and then there are two rooms upstairs. Your room mm-hmm. and your grandfather's room. And that's it. <laughs> mm. um, your grandfather, whose uh, hair is a little frizzy and going gray, is eating at the table. And he points to the plate of food he made for you. Flair very happily just like does a thumbs up and just slides right into the seed and very happily eating so what's flair's favorite breakfast flair's favorite breakfast might be like uh i think it's supposed to be like omelet with like some um fruits with it like on to the side Mm -hmm. so as you're um halfway through your breakfast there's a knock at the door uh flair kind of like gets up Kind of shuffles their hair a little bit and burrs down, mm-hmm. uh, and looks at their grandpa and is like, "Someone's knocking! I'm gonna open it!" <clears throat> yes, um, it, there's a knock at at the door. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's very clear that he didn't hear the knock. Yep, which is why Flair let him know <laughs> and. Uh, she's just gonna get up and walk over the door and, uh, open it. Um, so, standing on your doorstep is the mayor of town, Mayor Jonark Uptol. He's kind of got a rosy complexion on, as it's, you know, it's starting to get cold. 
Hmm. Hey. <clears throat> um, he hello. Oh, it's right at uh, breakfast. Uh, how what can I do for you, Mayor? Oh, I apologize for interrupting, but I, um... Well, you see, the, uh, quest for... He... Sorry, hold on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> I am pleased to inform you that, uh... You are to be one of the heroes to bring back the flame this year. I got sent. I me me. Y yes, you. He's, he is a he is a kind and a uh, gentle smile on his face. My. Your mic isn't picking up half of what I you're saying. I know. I'm so sad about that. I'm gonna. But just <laughs> whatever, I hold on. I am doing so many noises. Hold on. Yes. Let me see if I can fix I'm just this. Hearing Soto do all kinds of excited noises, and I'm only hearing half of it. My, in my mic has just been struggling sometimes with higher pitch stuff. I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> Flutter is just like very excited. Like. I I, 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 immediately I, cuts out. Oh my god. <laughs> Please just know, Flair is so excited. It is reaching pitches only foxes can hear. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> yes, of course, you. Now, in a couple days time, um you will need to come to the village square. Remember to only bring uh, things you absolutely need, as regular provisions will be provided. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely! Uh, can I give you a hug? Yes, of course, dear. Just opens his arms. He's, um, <laughs> he's a little round, so he's very <laughs> soft. <laughs> Flair just lunges at the hug and just hugs. And then, like, a little bit vibrant and, like, steps out of the hall. It's like, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I won't let you down. <laughs> of course. And he, <laughs> he, turns, he turns away after you, like, close the door. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Flair just very, like, slides right up to Grandpa's. And it's just like, you won't guess what? And, like, loud enough voice to get picked up, you know? Yeah, um, you were pretty loud earlier, so, uh, <laughs> your grandpa's just, like, chuckling under his breath, swallows. <sighs> Let me guess. That was just yes. the mayor, wasn't it? Yes. How did you know? It's, uh, it's Neff. <laughs> It's the, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. the, it's the month. It's the month. It's that month. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. I, I got picked for to be one of the, the, the heroes. He, he juggles and dots. He knew. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, it, it's clear that he'd been kind of like not telling you. Amazing. <laughs> But I feel like Flair just doesn't really pick up on it, mostly because he is so excited. He is just ecstatic. And just like right up, goes right up to Graham, to Ferris and just hugs. And that's like a little shaky shaky with it. And then let's go and it's just like, I need to finish breakfast. Uh, uh, I should, uh, I need something. To protect myself. I, I have been working on something. I've been working on a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. So I need to get a, a little bit of, of some of the materials for it with uh, uh, Bergar. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I should also do my uh, errands and stuff and all of, all of that around. But I need to finish breakfast. I need to finish breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sit down and finish breakfast with me. <laughs> and Flair just immediately like sits down and starts like, like, like eating fast but not really super fast because they're trying to be 
delicate about it, but also mm -hmm. just very excited eating. Yes. Okay, so we're go now going to go to Altaria. Oh. And uh, D. <clears throat> so. Oh, I'm, I'm no problem. Uh, this morning is like any other morning you've spent in this small little town. Uh, first breakfast at the Seven Silvers. Where mm -hmm. uh, there aren't a lot of people that are coming through. And it's because the weather's getting colder. So. Mm hmm. Making it. Saigar, the mm -hmm. person who's currently been put in quote unquote charge of you, glances. Oh, that phrasing. Yeah. Your fucking boss. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. He is your current boss. Mm -hmm. He was put in charge of you, and it's very. Very clear, very obviously clear that he did not think well of that idea. <laughs> Damn, rude as hell. He's a little I annoyed can't... that he was put in charge of a younger member of the Pathfinder Society. <laughs> I feel like that's something where it's like they're both aware of that and the fact that D doesn't necessarily mind Saigar himself. But, like, the whole, like, I am perfectly fine on my own. Just let me at them. Uh-huh. I got this. And so it's, like, the, I'm sure, like, cordial enough, but also, like, poke, poke, poke. <laughs> <clears throat> so today is another day here. He says in between bites of uh, the very modest breakfast that the Seven Silvers provides. I mean, I would sure hope so. <sighs> Just do the exact same as you did yesterday. I don't know. My mic didn't catch that. I watched it not catch it. <laughs> I said mischief and all. He just kind of lowers his voice as he says, just don't get caught. A little old me get caught. You know me better than that. <laughs> oh. And as you guys are uh, finishing up your breakfast, uh, the door to the tavern opens, and Saigar eyes the mayor as he comes in. D will take a big old bite of egg <laughs> <laughs> and just watch. Um, the mayor uh, looks around for a moment before spotting the two of you sitting off to the side of the tavern. And he walks right up to your table. And Saigar uh, seems to change his manner a little bit. Like, he stops kind of curling forward like a vulture over his food. <laughs> <laughs> you mean he sits up? Oh, and eats like he's supposed to be there instead of like D's about to steal his food. Yes. <laughs> can I, can I, the moment he like turns his attention to the mayor, can D attempt to steal just a small piece of egg off of his plate? Oh, hold on a second while I look up the, the skill you'd have to roll to do that. Because yes, you can hey. do that. Uh, Just to be a little shit. Would it be thievery? Yeah, roll me thievery. <laughs> okay, where am I rolling? It's, I'm... Uh, in the waves. In the waves. Okay. Yes. Portion <laughs> Oh, dear. 
Is it? So it'd be a d20 plus my thievery. Yes. <laughs> my god. That, that's a bad one. So, you're so unsubtle about this that as soon as, like, <clears throat> the mayor stops, you reach over to try to, like, <laughs> grab some of, uh... <laughs> Some of that modest, like, pancakey pa breakfast page pastry from egg. egg. <laughs> right. Egg. Some of the, some, as you reach over with your fork to, to like, stab some of the egg, Saigar just shoots a glance at you and immediately, like, parries your fork away. <laughs> <laughs> They will just stab something on their own plate then. <laughs> and look back at the mayor. The mayor just kind of watched you do that and kind of just like looked between the two of you for a moment before clearing his throat and going, <clears throat> Now, you two have been in my town for four months now. And you haven't necessarily given us any reason to doubt your intentions so I thought it would be nice if your and he's he's it, he searching for words to he's, describe D he's searching for words as he looks directly at Saigar your com if your companion would join us in our winter ritual of <laughs> great importance Saigar just kind of raises his eyebrows and he looks at you and then looks back at the mayor and he carefully curls his arm around his plate. D <laughs> <laughs> uh, will, whenever Saigar looked at D, D just gave back like the most innocent face and continued to stare at the side of his head whenever he looked back at the mayor. <laughs> no. Mayor, I I would be delighted for my companion to take part in your ritual tradition, as you say. D D will look at the mayor and just kinda nod. Of course I will oh my god, my voice squeaked. <laughs> Of course I would, Mayor. When... What information can you give me about it? Obviously we're new here, and I'm not sure I'm quite familiar with all of the intricacies. The Mayor nods, certainly, and he turns to look at you, and Saigar just kind of starts, like... His eating shoulders <laughs> go up and he starts eating faster. Like, he's very much trying not to curl over his plate like a like a vulture or some kind of bird of prey to keep you from stealing his food. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been hanging around D for too long. He's become bird. Yes. Uh, you know humans and their <laughs> mimicking of other races. <laughs> You have God. personally observed it multiple times. Oh I've God. personally messed with this man too many times. <laughs> Psychologically torment your boss, speedrun. Man. <laughs> we may be stuck in this together, but you're stuck in here with me as well. <laughs> and one of us is the senior, and it's not me. <laughs> So the, the, the mayor smile pleasant, pleasant, smiles pleasantly at you, and he says, Of course. So the, 
the beginning uh, is three days hence. You will be expected to arrive in the town center with only the only the weapons you need as necessary items such as provisions, um, backpacks, and torches will be provided to you. It will be an adventure that will take you um, about a day and a half to get to where you are going and the same back. So it takes three days to complete. Should all go well. The mic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds easy enough. Are there anything to be aware of on the path there? So the path through the Fangwood can be relatively dangerous. But you will not be going alone. And he kind of uh, mutters under his breath a little bit as he looks over his shoulder towards the door. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for this opportunity to join in your traditions. I appreciate a look into the people we're hoping to join here. Thank you. I appreciate your candidness. He just kind of like, it puts a hand over his heart and just nods to you before turning and walking out. D kind of nodded back, not with the hand, but just like a, a nod of acknowledgement back when he did that. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as the mayor turned around, <laughs> Deep pokes Saigar in the arm with a fork. Jesus. <laughs> Not like aggressively, but like a poke of like, you little shit. Is Saigar is going to like just look at you and go, what, you were bored, weren't you? Doesn't mean you can just volunteer me. Of course it means I can volunteer you. I'm mm. in charge, remember? Oh, in charge. Is that why you told me to do the same as yesterday? Yes, well, now you have a different mission, don't you now? I sure do. How, how else will I keep you from forgetting me in the next... Three days and three after. Uh, he just kind of like pinches the bridge of his nose. You know you love me. Sure, sure. Now finish your fucking breakfast. And stop which, which... trying to steal mine. <laughs> I was D D kind of pauses with the fork halfway to Saigar's plate. <laughs> Saigar pinched his nose, and so they were gonna go for the opportunity attack. <laughs> and they're just gonna go back to their food and take a really big bite of egg. I know one thing they're eating, and it's eggs. Past that, I got no idea. <laughs> It's so egg. they are eating eggs egg. and a kind of pancake. Ah. <laughs> Grumpily takes the biggest bite of pancake and then is just sitting there chewing on it, staring at Saigar's head. <laughs> That's breakfast. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Shiv. Shiv. You are doing your usual wandering around town. Where are you going? It's, it's skulking, I'll have you know. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm waking up and I'm choosing violence, unfortunately. Just a bit with my attitude, I guess. Um, well, well, your name is Shiv, so... <laughs> yes. You choose violence. Um, <laughs> so I feel like Shiv has, like, a, 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 like, sort of... It's not set, but it's, like, a... Like, a list of places to hit, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, They definitely, like, avoid, like, some people, like, the fucking... Um, honestly, probably avoids the mayor. I'm gonna be real. Um, and, like, the cleric and shit. Um, and that night guy. They, I'm pretty sure they fucking hate the night guy. Um. <laughs> uh, which they... one? Sir Dramont? Yeah. The one who's from out of town. That prick. Mm -hmm. Um. I feel like they probably, like, occasionally make stops at, um. The. The one guard. Like. Not hanging out, but, like, hanging in the general area. Um, Golfland Kier? Um, I think. I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember names, and I'm going up and down the list. Mm -hmm. There's a long list. It's okay. <laughs> I, uh, I also must go up yes! and down the list. Yes, yes, Kier, Kier, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Um... And so, yeah, they probably make occasional, like, general loops mm -hmm. around, like, Kier's guard spot area. So, as you'll uh, notice, he's not actually on duty today. Damn. But you can see he's uh, walking towards, uh, walking around town towards where, uh... You know, where you've seen most people go walking towards to buy stuff. <laughs> mm hmm In true feral cat energy, um, there's some, like, circling around spot where Kier should be, in quotations, mm. um, which is guarding stuff. And then, like, occasional breaks to, like, like... Or, like, like, breaking off to wander vaguely in the direction Kier has gone. And just, it's, it's just a lot of just, like, skulking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't know how else to describe it other than they just skulk. <laughs> yeah, um, Kier doesn't seem to notice you, but a couple of the other, uh, people who... The, you know, the couple of the other towns, people do notice you. Including, um... Well, Josen, who's currently sitting outside and tuning their loot. Oh, that's the bard motherfucker, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They, they they watch as you like kind of skulk around behind Kier, and they play a. I've I've changed this person's pronoun. They yeah, are they now say, you fucking trans their gender. <laughs> I trans their gender. I make the rules. I'm the game master. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jocelyn. Make a note. <laughs> Jocelyn sounds like. You know. <laughs> I don't, other than it does sound vaggy nine by me. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Shiv hates adults. I feel like this should be known. Like, let me just get this out of the way, like, immediately. Shiv does not like adults. Shiv does not trust adults. Shiv does not like adults. <laughs> Shiv handles adults like a feral cat does baths. 
Which is with great reluctance and a whole lot of internal hatred for everything. Um, so I love all of these NPCs, but Shiv hates them. <laughs> like, it's varying degrees of just, like, I am, I am putting up with you. Real I am putting up with you energy. Um, and so Shiv will, like, like, Shiv will, like, do their rounds vaguely in Kier's <laughs> area, and, like, then notice that Jocelyn is, like, paying attention to them, and just, like, whole ass, like, stop what they're doing, and just stare with this, like, intense look of why, like, this intense look of the vibe of, like, why are you perceiving me? As you stop and stare, jo Jocelyn just kind of strums the lute and goes, Now oh, that's a that's a perfect sound for it. What you doing, kid? Hmm? Which is which is the same kind of greeting this this bard has given you every single time they see you. What you doing, kid? <laughs> um, Shiv just kind of like bristles. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and just kind of like clutches their doll and they're like they probably have like a little satchel or some shit um and just like turns their nose up and away and goes walking off <laughs> like doesn't even deign to answer <laughs> they just kind of shake their head and strum a few bars and start Singing a uh, a town about tra uh, a town a tune about traveling as you're walking away. <laughs> oh, Shiv just definitely like definitely like after a minute like turns around like ever so slightly to peek back at Jocelyn. It's like so it it kind of sounds like one foot in front of the other foot in front of the other foot and one. And as oh. you turn around, they stop and look at you. <laughs> uh, that definitely gets a, like, a, like, the whole pulls down eye with one finger and sticks tongue out and makes a really ugly face and then turns and runs. <laughs> so, which way are you running? <laughs> um... God, they're just sort of like they're just sort of running. It's it's they know the town well enough where it's like they can skitter wherever they wish. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> um so where where was Jocelyn in front of? So um, let's see. Jocelyn was kind of, uh, so you see that big, the, the town circle, Jocelyn, mm -hmm. Jocelyn's just kind of, uh, close to the Seven Silvers Tavern. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, um, near the circle. Mm-hmm. So if you could find the one on the map, which is the Seven Silvers Yee. Tavern, it's somewhere between one and the circle. They probably scamper towards the river, honestly, and um, the bridge to what's number thirteen? Ah, uh, yeah, Elmira's home. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and as as you're uh, scampering across the bridge, uh, you do notice a um, you notice Elmira is outside her home, just kind of taking care of her garden. Uh, Shiv does not talk to Elmira, but Shiv absolutely, like, tugs off their shoes to tromp, uh, <laughs> around the riverbed. <laughs> and 
You have a nice time tr tromping into the river. <laughs> I feel like you need to know. I feel like you need to know. Yeah. I don't know if Shiv got invited by the mayor more than Shiv found out who one of the people was and, like, conked him over the head or some shit, locked him in a closet, and stole their shit. So, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> mm-hmm. The, the person you hang around the most, Omira, that's where the mayor is going right now. To talk Amazing. to Omira. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Shiv is just doing Shiv things. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you're in the river. Okay, uh -huh. so, Flair, you've finished your breakfast. Me. You are oh. ready for the day. Where are you going? Okay, okay. Let me flip through my... <laughs> um, so, with the news of, like, being one of the heroes, I'm pretty sure Flair... My for actually first go to Bergar. Okay. Mm, you know that. There. Yeah, you know that Bergar tends to start working earlier in the morning. So as you mm -hmm. as you get to his shop, you can hear the uh, sound of hammer uh, hammer hitting steel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Flair just like very heavily like hops into the shop and like looks looks around for a little bit of just like seeing the stuff going on and then goes to Bregar and is like, guess what? <laughs> so as you hop into the shop, there there is just a a single person there looking at like the wares, and you know where you so these general wares that Bragar has for sale aren't anything like his commission pieces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which he takes time to finish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. His forge is in the back of the shop, which is mm -hmm. as you know is where he is now because you can hear the hammer going. So as you continue on into the back of the shop to, to talk with him, the heat of the forge hits you. It's very <laughs> hot and sweaty in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Flair just, like, raises up a bit more of the one sleeve they got. But overall, they're dressed in a way that he... You know, they, they understand. They know about this. They're, they're mm -hmm. a little bit used to it. They don't like it, but they're used to it. <clears throat> Uh, he pauses in his hammering and looks over at you for a moment. Yes. He's, he's got guess. this... I give a guess. Um, hmm. And as he hums, he goes back to hammering. He's... It's how he thinks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're exceedingly excited. Mm -hmm, tink, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tink, tink. Did one of your projects? Uh, tink, tink, tink. Is one of your projects finished? Well, no. I was going to actually talk to you about, uh, like, helping me out with a little bit of the fanatics because I have a little bit of metal to work with, with that. But no, the mayor came to talk to me. I am going to be one of the heroes for the, 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 the Everflame and everything. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. So, what you're working on, on right now? Um, Flair just, like, slides a little bit closer. It's still, like, in more, like, still giving space to do the work, but, like, closer look. Mm hmm He just kind of, like, titches, and it's he's working on a blade. 
Hmm. But it's not finished yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he uh, starts hammering on the blade again. <laughs> and Flair is just like very, just very much watching and like, hun like a little like hunched down, like looking as the like some of the, you know sparks mm -hmm. will fly off and all this and that, and just be intently. Mm -hmm. Um, and as, as you're watching, he can continues until, um, he, he holds it up for a moment to look at the white hot blade. Mm hmm And then he, uh, quenches it. Which throws up a bunch of steam into the air and obscures the area for a moment. <sighs> <laughs> so what are you here about? Hmm? Well, I might want some a little bit of a little bit of itty 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 bitty 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 bit of help with a weapon. <sighs> what? Because I need to be protected. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 So. So, the, like, the idea of it is, like, some sort of, like, spear lance sort of thing to it. But I'm going to make my own modifications to it. But I kind of want to, like, work around that so kind of, like, baseline with it. All right. It just kind of waves in the air. He's, he's always in a foul mood. And you can... You can tell very certainly that he's had to repair his workshop uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. he's he's in a kind of he's not in the worst kind of mood that you usually find him in, but he's in a bad mood, which yeah. is normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you mean by? You're going uh, modifications. Well, well, you know my grandfather. You know my grandpops. Yes. And you know me. And you know me. <laughs> yes. So, 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 so it's gonna like be like a sphere lens thing, so that you know I have protection whenever it's like close by. But, 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 but. but um, I'm planning on modifying it and it being able to shoot a fireworks for long range kind of stuff. And I feel like this idea will be very nice and very helpful. It might be fun. But that will be, that, the, the, that modification will be on me. I will do that. Uh, I just need a little bit of help with the whole spear lance thing. Because that's not exactly my specialty. Like... I also need, need a place to actually make it like that. Uh, and I will help you do uh, errands and chores and clean up places and all this and that, of course, as per usual, whenever I need help with my little things. Uh, but yeah. <sighs> okay. I'm going to need you to roll me a diplomacy check. <laughs> to see if you can convince Braggar to uh, change his day, basically. <laughs> to help you with this. Diplomacy, right? Mm hmm. Roll me All a diplomacy right. check. 18! So, you can see that he is very much struggling to say no to you. <laughs> Just Flair has like this very bright smile and just very excited, but you know. Mm hmm. And he just kind of like growls under his breath and tugs at his beard a little bit. And he goes, Find one of Colbin's 
wood pieces and bring it over here. Yes, sir! And Flair immediately goes and grabs the wooden piece and brings mm -hmm. it over and just bit. There's a hop. Like, naturally, there's always been a bit of a hop to their step due to their prosthetic, but there is more of a hop now. <laughs> and you and Bragar start to make a uh, lance together. Mm -hmm. So for that, I'm going to need you to roll me a crafting check. Crafting. I yeah. do that. That is a thing I can do. Mm -hmm. That is not how I do the rolls. Crafting check. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is... Uh, this is going to take you guys past lunch into the afternoon. So we're going to mm -hmm. hop over to Altaria. D has finished breakfast and Saigar has left D to D's own devices. <laughs> D has so many devices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, you uh, don't actually need to buy weapons or armor, because that's something that you came with here. Mm-hmm. So, what exactly are you doing? Well, D is probably fine. Oh, D is probably fine, like, if they were to set out the same day. Um, so... They, deep, he probably wouldn't need much preparation per se. So even though D has been given a new mission, <laughs> D probably would stick with Saigar's original. How do I phrase it? Suggestion, and <laughs> do the same thing as as D was doing before, and just wander town. And get a feel for the people and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So. So, as you're uh, wandering around town, you happen by the river, and there's someone in the river just kind of kicking at the water and playing with it. Right? Audio? <laughs> yeah, kind of like half washing, half, you know. Maybe if there's, like, fish or minnows attempting oh. to catch... Oh yeah, there's definitely fish. Uh, there's a lot of fish in this river, and um, and if you want to get into the middle of the river, you could try to catch some. Uh, I don't think it's in the middle of the river time, <laughs> oh. but um, definitely, definitely at least eyeing it up. Mm-hmm. Do you might actually for the be like eh, I'm not doing anything else and wander over to the creature in the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From yeah. from what you can see, the the person is in the river is short and looks you no know, looks kind of younger than you, maybe. They're definitely human ish. Ish. Uh, and the ish comes in is when they look around, their eyes glow. You can you can tell that even in like daylight, which is kind of weird. <laughs> you know what? I'm a bird. I'm not gonna judge too hard, but keep that in mind. Well, the the thing is, is you've seen humans before. This is weird for a human. I'm a, I, I, D is not here to judge. D is to take <laughs> notes and heckle Saigar. <laughs> <laughs> that is D's mission in life currently. <laughs> um, does the person in the river appear to be like catching, catching the fish or like catch and release? Um,. Definitely catch, like, pause, thinking, and then release. Like, do I want to eat raw fish right now? <laughs> um, okay, okay. Give me an, uh, 
Uh, let's see. Either a nature check or a survival check to see how well you catch those fish. Well, they're both a three. So. <laughs> <laughs> the best fitch. Fitch, fitch, fitch catcher. Fitch, fitch, fitch. fitch. That's the a best bird. Fish catcher. So, oh, fish. yo, you were you were taught by Omira how to catch these fish, <laughs> which explains why you catch a lot of them as you're standing there, probably like knee deep in the river. Mm-hmm. And they they flop and struggle in your hands and wiggle. As you bring them out of the water to to consider if you want to eat them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some of them do get little fish kisses, though. <laughs> and then just plop. Mm -hmm. Shiv does mm. pause and eye at this this newcomer who's bird. Shiv has seen you around. Shadowing the strange adult who skulks about <laughs> even more skulky than they skulk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you won't like mess like will will look at my brain is broke. Do you will like look at Shiv as like a, I do see you, but won't like engage at all and will wade into the river too and attempt to catch a fish. Okay, roll me a survival check. Yes. <laughs> you don't get the, the the nature for this because... Survival. <laughs> oh my god. You're pretty, you're pretty good at catching fish too. <laughs> hey. It's the bird. Do you would like to keep the fish and go for a second? <laughs> okay. Roll me another survival check. Okay. D has D has ideas. I fucked it up. <laughs> Just immediately. I almost did it again. All right. So, <laughs> so you caught one, and you're like, yeah, okay, I got this. And then you mm -hmm. you you dive your hand, and you get a fistful of rocks and mud. <laughs> D will offer both the fish. And the handful of rocks and mud to the child in the river. Um, Shiv will accept these offerings. <laughs> Perfect. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, he is so good at this friend thing. Yes. Saigar, <laughs> eat your heart out. <laughs> He's got this. Uh, they have been offered fish, so this is a fish for eating. I'm very sorry, little fish. <laughs> um, <laughs> you must die. Um, the they'll probably wade, like, a few feet, uh, back out of the water, and then plop down and start looking through, like, the silt and mud for any pretty rocks. <laughs> Make me a uh, perception check. Perfect. Perfect. We're doing great at this friendship thing. I have given you a pumpkin, even. <laughs> <laughs> I ha they have perception somewhere different than everything else. Yeah. I had to look for it. Just yeah, me little. too. <laughs> That's passable. Yeah. yeah. So you're sifting through the this a uh, mass of dirt rocks from the bottom of the river and you find one pretty rock the rest are are dull <laughs> even mm -hmm. even when you wash them off in the river they're not they're not very pretty they're just normal rocks okay so those are sling pellets um <laughs> <laughs> um those the Arm the child <laughs> so those ones go in the sling bag um the pretty rock, however, is offered back to the strange bird. D will take it if it, if it's being offered. D will take it and look at it, and and do like a little chirpy thing. <laughs> um, fucking Shiv will mimic that chirp. <laughs> He'll do it back. <laughs> it, 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 
Stiff will continue to make the bird noises. Theo will probably do it, like, between going back and forth, Theo will probably only do it three times and then nod. And not just keep doing it infinitely, but... (laughs) They're communicating. They're communicating. (laughs) Shiv has decided they like this bird. (laughs) Um... Is is D forgiven for having an adult? Um, yes. D is forgiven for hanging around the skulking adult. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. Plus one to to relationship. <laughs> Despite um, the fact they've been in the same town for four months. Look. <laughs> look. <laughs> no, Shiv. Yeah. Shiv. I, I get the feeling that Shiv doesn't, like, you know, stop when they're skulking around. Yeah, they don't exactly hang- they, A, don't exactly go to town, like, every day, and B, like, they're they're just a slow creature to trust, and also, they don't exactly always stop, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. D might not have actually tried to, like, talk to people for the first at least couple weeks of, like, mm-hmm. ah, yes, we exist in the same area, and if I need something, I'll interact with you, but I'm more observing from a distance. So, so. and you've been here for about four months, D. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. so D, as time went by, would have started to actually talk to people and find out information. Mm-hmm. Um, so as, as you guys are, uh, you know, hanging out by the river, uh, uh-huh. Shiv, you hear the, uh, chaotic patter of, like, squirrels and kind of, like, ferrets, which kind of heralds Olmira coming to town. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Shiv, Shiv, Shiv would like to uh, emulate her if only for one day they want to have a pack of cats. <laughs> I feel like they hang around like people's cats a lot. Mm-hmm. Like they will steal they will steal your cats. They will eventually get returned. <laughs> your um, chickens, your cats, none of them are safe. None of them are safe. <laughs> this is a this is a serial thief of your animals. And um, and, um <laughs> So uh if you look up towards the bridge, uh Omira Tree Song is walking over the bridge and she pauses and looks over to you and kinda just waves at you. <laughs> Like, hello! She will give a small wave back and immediately stick their hand back into the river for another fish. Roll me survival. I can do that. Where am I doing There it is. Um, Shiv, meanwhile, <laughs> will just do a squint and, like, a slow blink and, like, blep. <laughs> and then, um, they'll, like, wave. Mm-hmm. Um, you can tell that there's a, there's a sleepy-looking bird just hanging out on Olmir's shoulder. <laughs> but it's not their bird. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... When you wave back, she smiles at you and then turns to the bird on her shoulder and chitters at it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Normal the bird, behavior. yep, and the bird kind of just straightens up and then flies over and lands on your shoulder, Shiv. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And the bird uh, mimics in Omira's voice. Um, come talk later, come talk later, come talk later. Um, Shiv will whistle at the bird and squint back up at Amira and just nod. Mm Mm-hmm. 
and and the bird <laughs> whistles back before flying back to Omir's shoulder, and she just continues on into oh. town with the 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 squirrels. Unless you you get, I point at you, Altaria. Sorry, point. If 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 D caught a fish, then D was going to offer the fish to the bird. <sighs> The bird is actually a very small bird, and as you offer the fish towards it, the bird just kind of looks at you and then flies off. Yeah, that's fair. Do you will instead offer it to Elmira? <laughs> I don't know how far Elmira is from them, but if... If Elmira is fairly close, then D would just trot over and offer it, and otherwise just turn so, around and offer it in Elmira's direction. Okay, so you you turn and trot out of the river, because Elmira's on the bridge. You guys are in mm-hmm. the river. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, um, walk. yeah, walk up to her. She gives you a smile. Hi, um... We haven't quite met, have we? I don't believe so. Although I... My name is... Oh. <laughs> Go ahead! Yep. Uh, my name is D. For now I'm a visitor, but we're looking to base here nearby. We? Oh. My mentor, Saigar, and I. Oh, yeah. The, um... Roguish type kind of just, uh... Skulking around town, huh? Yeah, Saigar does that. Don't mind him. He's... (laughs) He's a... We're working on it. (laughs) Well, it's uh, nice to meet you, Dee. I'm Elmira Tree Song. Lovely to meet you, too. I see you have uh, met the uh, child I look after. <laughs> she just looks over at Shiv for a moment, trying to describe her relationship to this child, because it's <laughs> it's not Apprentice, but Omir is kind of fond of Shiv, and thus looks after Shiv. <laughs> Thank you for befriending the creature I kept, I dragged out of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, how, I like how the pause was before child, because it's like, <laughs> what is this fucking thing? It's like, why? <laughs> Long pause, <laughs> child. Long oh, no, pause, trying not child. to say creature, because that might be rude. <laughs> I feel like Shiv will take him with a strife. I feel like Shiv will be feel honored. <laughs> yeah. Shiv is like, hell yeah, I'm a creature. Fuck the rest of y'all. <laughs> hmm? 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 Creature. 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 I forgot my phone in the bathroom and the alarm started going off. I'm sorry. I had to run. <laughs> run. Um. And she just kind of looks back at you and and smiles pleasantly again, and there are, like, squirrels that kind of, like, chitter Mm -hmm. at you. This is the wrong ambience. What the heck? Why did it switch (laughs) over? It's supposed to loop! Okay. (laughs) It'll go back to the right one. (laughs) there because we're in town we're not in the forest yet (laughs) um what was i saying (laughs) this unidentified fucking creature you have the language creature thank you (laughs) achievement unlocked creature acquired (laughs) it's um creature befriended it's nice to see them Interacting with someone their age? (laughs) 
She is also not very sure how old you are. <laughs> Do you will just nod and be like, fish, fish, hang on, my voice is doing things. <laughs> fish are definitely a good way to make friends, let me tell you. <laughs> And and D will kind of like offer the fish to Amira again. Well, Would you what? like one? Ah, uh, yes, thank you. And she takes the fish and just kind of like dangles it for the the. There are like three ferrets that kind of just appear <laughs> from like the nest of hair that she has, and like her it's from somewhere on her purse and you're not really sure where these ferrets are coming from from because she's wearing like wood and tree leaves and, and you know yeah but like three and ferrets come come out and she drops the fish into the ferrets uh, like grass and they tear it apart <laughs> thank you they were getting kind of hungry <laughs> I aim to serve, and we'll kind of do, like, a bow thing. Mm-hmm. She just nods. Um, we have to go get stuff from the town. So, uh, that, have a nice day. Yeah. Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> and, sh- sh- Shiv, oh my god. <laughs> he will wander back over to Shiv and the river. Jeez. Uh, Shiv will stick their tongue out, like, like, not in, like, a at, uh, D, but, like, in a, um, making a face at, uh, as, like, Omira has left in, like, a, I, that conversation, I heard it. <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I don't. D, D will just do like a short like click of their their beak like click their beak close as like a because they can I don't know if they can stick their tongue out but they're just you know they clack their beak at Shiv and then just go back to looking for fish. <laughs> it's it's not a bad thing. I get the feeling that it's an affectionate thing. Don't need her watching over me. And I don't need Saiga watching over me. Ah, uh, <laughs> Shiv looks up at D and nods understandingly. <laughs> D will nod back understanding like, yep. <laughs> We're two independent children, don't need no adults. How dare they? How dare they hold us back? <laughs> We're gonna let them believe that they hold that kind of power. The children will unionize. <laughs> We're gonna come back from our three-day mission and be like, all right, fuck all the adults. <laughs> we have become a unit. <laughs> unionize. You can um you can easily like find a dry patch and make a small little fire. Um, you know you have to find dry wood because the last time you found wet wood and set on fire, someone from the, the, one of the guards from the town immediately came over and tried to just, like, chew you away from doing that. Nosy nosy fucking bitches. (laughs) (laughs) So if you don't want to attract attention, you need dry wood. (laughs) Which is easy enough to find. I'm not going to make a roll for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can say reasonably, like, two out of three times, D gets more fish from the river. <laughs> yes. Fish time. Fish They're time. Fish for lunch, baby. <laughs> um, Claire. Me. Oh, boy. You smell a fire, and it's not your fault this time. (laughs) (laughs) Claire, you uh, and Bragger have been uh, basically working through lunch. You're starting to get very hungry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know we are 
very focused into doing this. I am too. But I'm a little bit hungry. Are you hungry? If we could just focus and finish this, it will be done. Yes. What if I bring you some lunch and you can focus and eat? He just, he, he looks irritated and you know it's because he's hungry, so he's more irritated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He just, he, he glances at you, narrows his eyes, go do whatever you're going to do, let me take over what we're doing. Yes, sir! And for nearly, uh, <laughs> goes off. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm trying to go to towards the tavern. That's a quick and easy way to get to go meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So you easily. It's nothing to you to go from a uh, bragger's shop, which is yeah, over to the tavern, mm -hmm. and as you. Uh, as you're walking through the middle of town, you can hear uh, Jossin's lyre. It sounds like they're practicing. <laughs> Flair would like immediately like shoot off a very enthusiastic wave as they're passing by. They're kind of focusing and like I need to get food so mm -hmm. that he doesn't do any for record to another, don't don't do anything that he will regret. <laughs> Yeah, as you pass Jocelyn and Wave, they they give a very, like, easy laugh at you and Wave back before continuing to practice. Mm hmm That'll be, uh, stuff for later. Very well. A lot of times Flair is like, I'm gonna think about this for later. I'm gonna do this for later. I'm gonna do <laughs> this for later. Very enthusiastic, energetic child. Mm -hmm. Uh... Team. I'm just gonna rush right into the inn tavern. And, mm -hmm. As you uh, rush right into the tavern, you uh, see that Asina is at the front of the bar today, and she's just, you know, cleaning the bar and humming mm -hmm. to herself. Assy! 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 Ah, uh, Flair! She's stops for a moment to come around and give you a hug. <laughs> Flair immediately get like hugs right back and kind of like like does the whole like lift herself up a, like a little bit considering like I think she, uh, she's younger. Yeah, so she's, Asina she's is, is both younger and shorter than you but she uh, she's very good at like moving the little stool around so she can like reach the bar. <laughs> <laughs> to clean mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, but Flair like picks her up a little bit and like spins <laughs> her around a little bit and puts her down. Like I'm here for I need I need juice. I need food. Juice. And Bregar needs food oh. before he destroys his uh workspace. So Oh, I see. Okay. Um Dad can we please, please, please get two meals to go? There's a kind of very just, uh, <sighs> all right, I'll make up two meals. It's Flair again, isn't it? Yes! yes! Hi, sir! Hello, Flair. <laughs> <laughs> and Flair would just kind of, like, sit uh, at the bar. Not really, like, planning on, like, getting anything, but mostly, like, to sit there with uh, Asina, and it's just like, mm -hmm. so, what's up? So, um, well, y you do know th about the, the two who have been staying here for, like, a couple of months, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this morning, I saw the mayor come in here and go over and talk to them. <gasps> the mayor! You know, the mayor also came to talk to me. Really? Yeah, to me! Personally, about what? guess what? Guess what? what? Guess what? So, oh, does it have anything to do with what month it is today? It absolutely does have something to do with what month it is today. Oh, spill, spill. So, 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 okay, 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 okay. And like, <laughs> Flair like scoots up a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. You will never guess 
who got picked to be one of the heroes for the Everflame. She's just like, oh, was it you? Yes! Oh! <laughs> you know, um, a couple, a couple of the kids, there's rumors about that, that, like, there's some people who've died on that trip. It's super dangerous. You sure you're ready for that? Absolutely. La last time... I was down in the dumps with my leg, but now, now I'm ready. I'm getting, I, I, I am working with Bragger of like making a very, very mm -hmm. cool like spear lance thing that shoots off fireworks. Oh, no wonder you're bringing food to Bragger this time instead of whole gas, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's a little bit too focused in. Uh, but yes, uh, and yeah, 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 yeah. So that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be great. That's gonna be a fun time. So maybe the mayor was talking to the uh, new person about that. Yeah, the um, the bird person. Yeah, the bird. Uh. I've been I've been looking at, at Adam for a little bit. They're there. They seem to also be looking at people too. But hmm. I think uh the name is D or something D. like that. No, no, that's that's really weird. I I've never actually seen anyone like them before. So if they're going on the trip with you, you're going to get all the deeds about them, right? And you're gonna tell me when you Abs get back. Absolutely, I will never not tell you. <laughs> she grins like big and wide as she's just scrubbing at a spot on the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Very sticky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah! So that's gonna be great, that's gonna be fun. Uh, uh... I don't know if you would need any help after I'm done with the spear. I might have to spend the like an all nighter trying to do, uh, make the mechanics for the inside of it because that's what I'm gonna be doing personally, uh, with it because I don't want a, it's a little bit finicky details and Bregar. I'm more of a crafty person and can deal with explosives with my grandpops. So, mm -hmm. um, I don't think we're going to need any help considering well we've got uh jimes you know short change mm -hmm, around mm -hmm. and we don't really have a lot of people here at the moment besides jocelyn and the two i just mentioned so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's kind of getting to be you know that time of slow kind of yeah thing. yeah but we'll keep it ourselves entertained yeah of course <laughs> um so after a little bit of waiting her father mm. does come out with uh two little packs and places them down before you <sighs> that's um hi hi um, for SP. Yep. Uh, and Flair uh, digs around their pouch and pulls out the for, for silver. It's like, thank you very much. Yep. Um, tell Bragger to not destroy his wall again. We're gonna try on that. He's a little bit hangry, so hopefully this will help. Hopefully. He just kind of, like, there's a just kind of sigh in his demeanor as he sweeps the silver into his pocket and goes <laughs> back to the kitchen. I see, see you later! Bye! Bye! <laughs> and Flair is gonna skedaddle right on over and give another wave at uh, Josie. Mm hmm And Jocelyn uh, starts up a little uptune as they sing, Hey there, Flair, what you doing? Going down the street. <laughs> Food! <laughs> Delivery! Doing I'll talk to you later! Things. 
See you later in the day. <laughs> and Bart just like laughs as uh, he hurries along. <laughs> there's a, because it's midday, there's a lot of people just walking around, like doing things and shopping. Although there are people clearly avoiding braggers now. <laughs> and as you get yeah. to the front, you can hear the frustration of the dwarf from inside. Yep. Uh, Blair just like very nonchalantly, very much like anybody else will just stay away. Blair is just walking right in with a smile mm -hmm. on her face. <laughs> and they're just gonna like walk right in. It's like, I got food! Breaky time! And with that, we should also take a break because it's been an hour and a half. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Ayo. 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 Oh, I'm gonna get there, some water. Yes. I'm gonna watch up the... I will also be back. We'll be right back after this commercial break.
<laughs> Hello. Hello. I went downstairs and had some grapes. Hell yeah. It was very, very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll try and soda. I'm making tea. Yes, good. I'm eating some leftovers. Yes. <laughs> so how you have how are you enjoying it so far? <laughs> it's fun. Yay! <laughs> I've got to say, so far, the NPC that I've had the easiest time playing is this Cena. <laughs> mm hmm. Valid. <laughs> it was very cute. Y'all's interaction. Hee <laughs> hee. I just can't wait for the all three of you to start interacting. Yes. Thank you. 
<laughs> uh, I have also deciphered some shiv 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 formation. Mm -hmm. Shiv formation. Um, shiv does not mind Omira. Mm -hmm. Um, shiv does not like Omira trying to quantify their relationship to strangers. <laughs> Um, or just anyone. Um, how dare you try and put our relationship into words? It is deeply sacred <laughs> and unknowable, as all things must. Um, really, that was just the the best way to put it at the time. Omira might describe it as something else to in someone like else. Five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, it's um. How do I put this in a way be that is uh, not offensive to Shiv? Because Shiv is sitting right there. I can hear that. <laughs> but also yeah. really describes uh, that I'm taking ca I'm making sure this, this child has things that they need. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, I'm realizing that with it getting closer to winter and cold... Um, that river's probably freezing as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very funny. It's it's fine because you didn't you didn't really s spend an extended amount of time in it. No, oh, yeah, and it was like yeah, it's cold. And um, after you built a fire, so you're you, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was for the fish. Mm -hmm. The fish that are uh, going to be not as active pretty soon. Uh huh. It's like it's like fall. Mm hmm. Basically, is the kind of like seasonal Yee. time period. <laughs> A good time to set up fish pools. Where it's like those, um, those like spots in the river where you make essentially an artificial pool where fish can come in but not get out, and then you can fish the pool out. Uh, the you can fish the fish out. Mm hmm And then you, and then you, and then you cook them and uh, preserve them and shit. And then you got fish. Mm hmm I don't know a ton about wildlife survival, but I know some things. <laughs> <laughs> um also i i have something kind of funny i want to say but i want to wait until the others are back because i think it's funny yes um shiv does like the company of the like here mm -hmm. um and so it's like here is but only whenever Kier is on guard duty, I think, which is very funny. <laughs> That's very funny, considering uh, when Kier is just, like, not running errands, he's kind of just, like, playing with the other children in the town. Mm hmm <laughs> I guess that is a good way, though, to, like, make sure that, like, any attention they get from him is undivided. Like That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't have to share you with the other children. <laughs> this is strictly us time. And your guard duty. <laughs> Which Kier takes very seriously, but kind of often messes up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Listen. I hold I hold Kier soft. He's he's just he's just here. <laughs> just here. Like that's it. That's all that needs to happen. It's just here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm I have sent out the call. Yee. Of what the fuck is taking you guys so long? <laughs> <laughs> I hear them. We're shatter it should are shattering. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. <laughs> And Ty was basically saying that it would have been funny if Flair met up with the other two in the river. But I was like looking at the map and I'm like, I don't think Flair would have been able to see them, unfortunately. No. Mm -hmm. And Flair is very focused on help help Bragger right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I beat him. I've lost two times in a row. One of them. <laughs> Grow the child. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry, kid. I need, I need to wait until it's like 12 o'clock at night and all the little kids that just got it for Christmas are going to sleep. <laughs> She's go she, she is having feelings about Splatoon. Oh, no. Uh... It's fine. The child has gone back to the kitchen. <laughs> Vanished back to the abyss. Be gone with ye. Banished back to the land of the ink monsters. <laughs> Creatures. I can't think of the word. Wow, just like Bendy and the Ink Machine. Yeah. Bendy and the Ink Machine. Uh, <laughs> okay. You you ready? We ready. Ready. Alright, so um just to to start us off. Can I get a survival check from both uh, D and Shiv to see how well you cook in those fish? I love that that's an option. <laughs> <laughs> you, you cook it badly uh, and now you are... Wrong channel, hun. We're in the God waves. damn it. <laughs> that explains oh. a lot. <laughs> kill that. Survival check? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, the fish are getting twelve. Cooked. It's only twelve. They're, they're they're not they're passable. They're not bad, but they're not good either. They're just They're medium they're rare. Yeah, they're medium. You you cook them alright. They taste alright, and since the, the water is pretty cold, you you can sit by this uh nice fire and Make sure not to, you know, get any complications from that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dry yourselves off. Um, there, as you guys were like cooking the food, there, uh, a guard kind of like walked over to the uh, the bridge and looked over and just kind of stood there and watched what you were doing for a moment before continuing on on his patrol. <laughs> uh, Sh Shiv would have given that guard, like, the dirtiest look. <laughs> like, how dare you interrupt our gourmet cooking session? <laughs> 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 Your presence is ruining the ambiance. <laughs> In front of my fish? <laughs> he doesn't say anything. He just watches you two for a moment. And, like, when Shiv gives him a dirty look, he just crosses his arms and just stares back at them. <laughs> I'm just getting feral cat vibes, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> just the angriest Shiv. <laughs> Cooks fish angrily. I mean, this is probably the guard who came came along and stopped you from cooking before. This so. bitch <laughs> has 
has a vendetta <laughs> <laughs> against Shiv and their fish. How is um D reacting to this stare down? D is going to make it clear that D knows that the guard is there, but the guard is below D's attention right now. <laughs> also cat energy, but in a different direction. <laughs> like, oh, you're here. That's you know what? I don't even care. <laughs> Be gone. <laughs> Eventually, the guard just gives up the staring contest and moves on. Amazing. Perfect. Shiv has won today! <laughs> yeah. That's what I fucking thought. So, um, Flair, you get back into Bragger's uh, shop mm -hmm. and you did reasonably manage to get him to stop working for the moment mm -hmm. um, get him to a nice meal get some lunch in mm -hmm. and after you get, get some meal in him he, he, the, the amount of irritation in him decreases <laughs> so you're you're both able to finish up the the lance uh, in a mm -hmm. reasonable amount of time. And by reasonable, I mean it takes uh, until like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I point at you other two. So you have finished your fish. What are you doing now? Um, well, during the fish eating, um, Shiv attempted to lure over cats... <laughs> and began explaining in great detail the ongoings of the cat population of the town and surrounding area. Um, D is taking careful notes. So I'd like you to, I guess, make me a diplomacy check to see if you lure any cats in. Perfect. I accidentally opened the wrong tab. One sec. <laughs> Ah, yes, a plus two to diplomacy. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, with, with the promise of fish, you are able to lure in most of the cat population in town. Oh my god. Oh my god. And a few of the cats, when they get close to D, they, they go... Just kind of walk around D, but <laughs> D will just snap their beak a little bit. Like, I have self control, but also, <laughs> I'm warning you, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> the cat you snap at hisses at you and immediately goes behind Shiv. <laughs> Shiv, Shiv is Shiv is the fucking cat whisperer. <laughs> you also have a promise of fish, so <laughs> yes, bribery counts. <laughs> and they're all rubbing up against your legs and purring. And Shiv, yes, and Shiv is just like, and this is murder killer pants. Oh my god! And murder killer pants really likes princess fluffy pants. But don't tell, don't tell, don't tell, don't tell, don't tell. Don't, don't tell Princess Pants, or don't tell... Don't tell Duke of Fluffington. Oh, Duke of Fluffington's in this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> because Duke of Fluffington would like to court Princess Fluffy Pants, but it's not gonna happen because Princess Fluffy Pants is currently pregnant. <laughs> And <laughs> is is Princess Fluffy Pants like is I, is the drama over the father? Um, well I don't know who the father is. Um mm. But Princess Fluffy Pants is currently very big and fat, um, with babies, and I'm hoping I can um 
I want the babies, at least one. Um, I want to carry it around, and um, I can't do that with Princess Fluffy Pants because it could hurt the babies. And last month, um, there was a kitty who almost hung out at my house, but then um, tried to eat the chickens. So then I had to leave them in the barn with um, the other barn cats of one of the farmers or someone i don't know i don't really care but there's lots of cats there who like to live there and so i thought that was the best place for them and they're doing well and sometimes i bring them um um sometimes i bring them like fish i see mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you say fish and they all start to meow Shiv is feeding, feeding the kitties fish. <laughs> and sometimes there are weird animals in the woods, like this fucking fox thing. Um... <laughs> I think... Either that or it's a really weird dog. But sometimes I hear it out in the woods or I see it and we stare at each other and the cats don't like it. Well, I don't know. The cats are unsure about it. I think it smells funny. Um I can't wait for them to get ready to go. Point at Flair and go, the dog! <laughs> Unidentified fox thing fucking blow it up. <laughs> Flair <laughs> oh on, on the other side of this seeing this dirty gremlin in the woods like what the fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> they both walk away like where why is there a cryptid in the woods <laughs> yep <laughs> amazing so is there anything else either of you would like to do before nightfall? Um, she'll probably exhaust the topic of the <laughs> cat interrelationships that they have observed and also partly made up. Mm -hmm. Um, along with the fact that they cannot keep cats around their place unless they're thinking that if they train the cat from a young age, which is why they want a kitten, um, the cat will not mess with the chickens because they don't want the chicken to attack cats if the cats try going after the chickens. <laughs> because blood is bad for chickens because chickens are vicious and vile creatures full of hatred <laughs> and sin. <laughs> and Dee is just nodding along like, yep, yep. <laughs> Um, but also, they give really good eggs and feathers and all sorts of things. Um, and so Shiv uh, liberates them from people. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> and sometimes they leave chicks in return. That's a fair trade, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, they probably Your exhaust... Your bird shrank. Your bird shrank. <laughs> <laughs> your bird, your bird. They have touched your bird. They shrank. <laughs> um, and then is probably just like, oh, looks looks at random point. It is time for Kier's guard watch. I must be going. <laughs> I have a schedule to keep. <laughs> And looks down at the sundial wristband. Ah, yes, yeah. the time. <laughs> <laughs> looks at, at, at empty wrist. I must be going now. <laughs> <laughs> like kicks uh, out the fire and shit. Yeah, D will help if if Shiv is gonna wander off. D will probably wander on their route as well. Mm -hmm. So. After having a lovely afternoon tea, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> the two unlikely friends part ways. <laughs> yeah. So, Flair, you now have a lance that you made with Bragger. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Which 
the actual price of it was kind of waived for the the lunch that you brought him. Mm-hmm. And, and then he kind of just waved you off and said, get out of my hair. <laughs> Thank you! I'll make sure to help out around such and whenever I'm, I do all the questy things and come back and yeah! I'll see you! Let me know if you need help with the workshop! Come back tomorrow and ask me that. He just... Aye, of, aye. He just kind of s starts working again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Valerius just, like, very happily, like, walks out and kind of, like, testing the balance of the lands and testing how it feels to, like, using it as a support mm -hmm. uh, for walking and such. And he's just very enthusiastic and very happy. <laughs> Okay, so now that you have your lance, it mm -hmm. is now afternoon, nightfall is in a couple of hours, and mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. your grandfather will expect you back for dinner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What will you do in those couple well, of hours? Uh, they did promise uh, Yosin that the, they'll see them mm -hmm. uh, at a certain point, and uh, I think it's too late in the day to actually go to Halgast. So yeah, that might be... He's, he's probably already either in the mid-afternoon nap or that takes him all the way to the next day or he's mm -hmm. in the middle of reading and bothering him now would just get him to mm -hmm. be a little irritated with you. Mm -hmm. and that is more of a, a, a early morning kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so that might be a tomorrow or the next day probably the next day and since Bregar at said that uh so it might go over to Jocene then mm -hmm. um Jocene is uh still practicing but they mm -hmm. you know it's getting to the point in the day where they're about to move inside the tavern and start uh playing for the tavern <laughs> mm-hmm mm-hmm Flair like walks up like close by and just like waves and it's like look what I have Wow that's a fancy lens you got there <laughs> Right And like Flair and me like sits down next to them and it's just like So how 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 how's the tuning? Oh it's going pretty well my uh, instrument's a little old, but she's lasted me the years. Mm. <laughs> you think? You, do you think? I, I can probably do one song because I do need to go to dinner. Mm -hmm. But I could add a little bit of a spectacle with your songs, and does the, like little like 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 having the fingers intertwined on the shin mm -hmm. kind of pose. Jocelyn just kind of like smiles toothily and goes, the usual one? Yes! <laughs> so. I, got, I got some some of the things and, and, and I promise all of them have been tested. All of them won't explode, I think. Majority. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so for this, I'm going to need you to roll me a performance. Hey, yo. To see uh, how interesting mm -hmm. and what you add to Jocelyn's play. <laughs> oh. So it's so interesting that a crowd gathers and you're having so much fun and then the sun is going down. <laughs> mm hmm so you get, um, so as you start to need to take off, Jocelyn just kind of, like, takes, because there, there's now a lot of money at, uh, Jocelyn's feet. <laughs> so you get, um, let's say, uh, seven silver. Hey! Hell yeah! That makes up for the... Silver that I've got to pay for the dinner, for the lunch, <laughs> and a little nice. extra, and a little bit of extra. This is how Flair gets like 
piss allowance and everything. <laughs> Maybe buy a few like little stuff with their own little experiments and all this and that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, Blair does like a nice little bow and like. I do want to say this commotion did draw your attention, D. Did you go over to watch? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, so, Soto, I want you to give me a little description of how Flair added to Jocelyn's performance. So, what basically Flair does is, like, usually at the very, like, kind of, like, start of it all, uh, Flair passes around, like, little, like, sprinkler like the little things like little sticks that Mm -hmm. you let them on fire and they sparkle and they always do it without actually having a match around which is always the fun it's a fun little magic trick that uh, flair can do uh and passing it around with the kids so the kids can have their little fun with it all and Uh kind of entices the parents to come on over basically (laughs) yeah it's a trap it's a (laughs) trap Um, and what Flair usually does a lot of time is adding some kind of, like, uh, a lot of, like, bits of sparkling and, like, flary, like, sparks to things and very controlled amounts and, uh, around the place that, uh, like, she sets up beforehand, Mm -hmm. um, and making sure that the people aren't really quite there and, um an occasion to occasion has you know those like little fireworks that like they don't really explode but they shoot off into like a kind of flare kind of way Mm -hmm. uh kind of like doing that basically and so like a lot of more like spectacle with like sparks and lights and all this and that added with the music and such yeah and because the the fireworks are such a spectacle the tune that jocelyn plays is a rousing upbeat tune that you can dance to (laughs) i'm pretty sure like flair uh, like the those kind of like dance around with uh jocelyn as best they can they're not uh, i think they're not as graceful for dancer considering but i do dance around in order to like be able to like move back and forth towards where they need to like set off anything i do want to be very specific jocelyn doesn't get up and dance jocelyn mm-hmm. is sitting and you know that's because jocelyn has a bad leg Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Jocelyn doesn't get up and dance, but all of the kids are dancing, and some of the adults mm-hmm. are too. <laughs> and it's just a fun time all around. It's that Flair time. enjoys doing this whenever it's almost sundown. <laughs> so as you uh, struggle to get out of the, the crowd, because you need to go now. Mm hmm. Uh, you, D, are you still standing there? <laughs> uh, yeah, D, D is, needs to go into the tavern anyway, and it's either this fun, encouraging, um, community thing, or going to poke at Saigar again, and Saigar probably still remembers this morning, so, you know. Mm-hmm. Fireworks are a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was dealing with toaster. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but yeah, so D D is probably like watching and like if there's a clap happening, then they'll clap along. Mm-hmm. Or he's probably not one to dance per se. Um, if other people are dancing. In this kind of thing, but we'll like watch and clap along. And Mm -hmm. if somebody hands him a sparkler, then he'll pass it on to another kid. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah, you, um, so D, you see Flair struggle out from the crowd. And start uh, 
and I point at you, Soto. So you mm. you managed to get out of the crowd. Are you just gonna go home? <sighs> uh, most likely. Uh, it's around dinner time, and uh, Flair prefers going right at home and starting to do their own little tinkering at home. Mm-hmm. Now that they're done with their socializing. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, you watch them struggle out of the crowd, and he starts to head home. Or head off, away from the crowd. I, I point at you, D. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, this very interesting I mean... person, who is very clearly the, the center of attention here, is now heading off away from the crowd. See, when you phrase it like that, I'm torn between two options. Yes. Because <laughs> D, my first instinct is D would be would notice and would log that this person has left. Um, like, regardless. And then it would be a debate of, like, do I follow? Do I not? Has has D seen this person around town before? Most likely, I'll be honest, because Flair likes to go all over town uh, from day to day. But you probably haven't had a chance to talk with her before. As he, D has, he D has always met the see- friend yeah, go ahead. go ahead. Sorry. I was going to no, you're good. just go going to continue with he always seems busy helping someone out around town or going to and fro places. Mm-hmm. See, my first thought was D has met the friend quota for the day and can tell Saigar about the person that D met today. And maybe we save this one for tomorrow, but maybe tomorrow <laughs> it won't, the opportunity won't happen. So it's like, hmm. But we're going to be normal about it, and D is going to sneakily <laughs> follow Flare and not, like, like just kind of tail Flare for a bit to see if Flare notices. Okay, roll me oh. stealth. But we're having a normal and one, And Flare, mm-hmm. Flare, roll me perception to see uh, if you notice you're being followed. I don't see a perception roll. It should be up, above uh, the skills. It's above the skills, yeah. Above the perception, yeah. there oh, it no. Is. oh no, oh uh, <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Flair, you are you are too busy riding the high of that. Yeah, I helped Justin out, and I also made the spear today, and this is so awesome. I'm so excited. You don't exactly. notice that you're being followed. <laughs> I can't believe the bar was so low and she <laughs> crawled underneath it. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you would probably tail for a little bit and just long enough to get a feel for the direction that Fleur is going and then... <laughs> so... We'll abandon stealth. <laughs> So you get a feel for where Flair is going, and uh, they s- seem to be heading towards the large uh, tower at the edge of town. Which, if if Dee's been here for long enough and has some indication of who this is, mm-hmm. then Dee would probably know that, okay, Flair's just going home. Yeah. And, and... <laughs> Probably about halfway there, D will. This is so dumb. <laughs> D will uh, not necessarily not the hejaba hejaba. Will loudly but not like yelling be like, uh, excuse me. Flair like halts to a stop, and then turns around. It's like, oh, hi. Uh, hello. Um, I just wanted to... I don't know what my accent's doing right now. Just wanted to say I enjoyed your performance there. Oh, th- thanks! <laughs> it's, it's just a 
little thing I do. Uh, you're you're, you're uh, D, right? I, I heard a little bit about you. You're the new person in town. Well, not new, new anymore, but you know, you know what I mean. That is indeed me. Me and my mentor, yes. And you are Flair? Oh, yes, I'm Flair. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so, okay. So I heard a rumor. I won't say from whom. <laughs> that uh, the mayor talked to you earlier this morning? Perhaps. Why do you uh, ask? So are you perchance going to the Everflame Crypt? I am. <gasps> are you? Yes, I am. I'm one of the people that got that got sucked into doing the whole uh little thing about it. Uh, so it's very nice to meet you. I hope that uh we can be friends. And Flair like extends out a hand. D will go ahead and and shake Flair's hand and say, "Of course, if we're going to be on a on such a long journey, we might as well be friends." Absolutely. Uh. Uh. uh I'm, I'm, I, I, it's dinner time, oh, soon, oh, soonish. Uh, so I can't really stay and talk, talk too much like I usually would. Uh, but you, you, you're at the end, right? I am indeed. Me, um, yes. You want to meet up there and maybe we can like talk a little bit? I might have to pull an all nighter to fix all the like, uh, my lands and everything, but, uh, we can talk, we can chitter chatter, we can get to know each other and, uh, you know, and be sure like we're aware about each other's specialties and such. I'm pretty sure that's what adventurers do or something like that. Uh, that way that we can like balance each other out or I don't know. I'm not an adventurer. It's... Fair enough. And, and you're not wrong. It is important to know each other's specialties before we set out. Um, I'm in no rush. I know we have about three days, so whenever you're free, we can meet up and talk. And I do a meander around town every so often, so if nothing else, too, you might we might wander while we talk, and you can show me some of the places I may have missed. Yes, excellent. Yes, I know basically almost like everybody here in town. I'm a little bit of a social butterfly. I think that's the actual terminology for that. Uh, so I get, I know like almost like almost everybody, everybody. Yeah, plus Assy like gossips all the time with me. So we know basically almost everything about everything. That would be wonderful. Me and my mentor are looking to potentially establish a base here. I don't know if it will be necessarily us stationed here or members of our group, so it would be lovely to get to know you and the town and get a feel for how things happen here. <laughs> Excellent! That's, oh, this is, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited to get to know you. Uh, uh, like, uh, we rarely have, like, new people that stay around for a while, and you're a very interesting individual, and I would love to get to know you and, uh, like, all of this cool stuff, and yeah! Of I'm course. just very excited! <laughs> yes. Well, don't let me keep you from your dinner. Um, have a good night, and if nothing else, either tomorrow or the day after, we can meet up and have a chatter. Absolutely, and like Flair does like a very quick bow, and she's like, "I hope you enjoy your dinner." Um, Annie's father does like really nice cooking and everything. I'm sure you've been enjoying it very much. And yes, uh, bye, bye bye. <laughs> and and whenever Flair bowed, um, you would have bowed as well, but you will just kind of nod again and wave. <laughs> So Dee's going to wander back to where Dee left the crowd of people. Mm-hmm. Um, easy enough. Uh, most of the people have kind of either gone into the tavern or dispersed at this point. <laughs> mm-hmm. When you wander back, because the, the sun is now kind of below the horizon, and it's it's dinner time. Um. I'm going to point at you, Audio. Is there anything special you want to do with Kier, or are you just 
eh, hanging out around him while he's sitting on his watch. Just existing in the same space. Mm -hmm. Um, He might uh, play a game of toss a pine cone with you. Fuck yeah, toss the pine cone! (laughs) My brain just said Shiv seems like the kind of person to play toss the pine cone and every once in a while take a bite out of the pine cone. I was honestly thinking, like, (laughs) can you eat pine cones? Like, what is the culinary use of pine cones? I mean, you can eat, like, the baby ones, technically, Mm -hmm. and you can make them into even, like, syrup and such, so Mm -hmm. you could. Mm -hmm. You could. Um, you know, you are, uh, well, Amir expects to have a conversation with you later, but whenever that happens is up to you, as always. Um, I feel like, I feel like it will be around, around the dinner time, because, Mm -hmm. you know, they have evening things they have to do with their birds and such. And, you know, checking on Princess Fluffy Pants and (laughs) petting her luxurious fur and tell her that she's very big and round. Um, (laughs) And, you know, Mm -hmm. um, so it's probably just like around dinner time where Shiv kind of skitters to where they know Omira is living. Mm Mm-hmm. And, uh, as you come in, there is the... So, the way Omira lives is very much, uh... The house was hand-constructed from, like, dead trees that fell at one point. And, you know... Mm -hmm, Very mm -hmm. much a, this is a druid who lives in the woods. (laughs) And the whole, uh... There are a whole bunch of, like, small critters who just kind of hang out and skitter around in the walls. Full of- full of bug. Yeah. Um, when you come in, you smell something like- It- it kind of- it smells like a stew. Obviously, Mm. probably made from either venison, like deer- or a uh, rabbit. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, Omir is just kind of ladling it out as you come in into wooden bowls. <laughs> how, how dare they be predicted? Um, no. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Just sort of slinking around, going over to presumably there's some sort of receptacle of water and, like, washing their hands and mm-hmm. stuff. Um, there there are stones that have been arranged to be, like, personal tables. Mmm, personal table rocks. Mm-hmm. I'm loving the aesthetic. And she uh, places... The bowl, that's obviously for you on one of the personal tables. And Mm -hmm. then does something for herself. And sits down at her own personal table. Now there's something unusual at yours. The fuck is it? It's a... (laughs) It's a package. This is sus. Wrapped in parchment paper. This is very sus. And tied with uh, some kind of twine. Mm. Shiv, Shiv eyeballs it <laughs> and very slowly, like, drags it closer to themselves <laughs> and, like, tugs on the twine and pulls the twine out from around it and then, like, spools the twine around their hand and puts it away in their satchel Mm -hmm. and just staring at Olmira the whole time. Olmira is doing that kind of thing where she's watching you out of the corner of her eye but she's not, like, acknowledging that you're staring at her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, You know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing that you do with a 
a semi wild dog. Thanks. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Look. Uh, <laughs> no, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is an yeah. offering, but I'm not going to watch you open it because then you won't take it. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, Shiv will very carefully unwrap the item, and they're saving the parchment paper as well. Mm hmm Um, as you open it, you'll notice it's a, uh, it's an outfit made out of fur. Your size. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Stairs. Presses to face and sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. It's... Does it, does it smell like fur? It smells like fur and hide and something that has been uh, very carefully cured for wear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this is clearly something that Omira bought from town. <laughs> sort of uh -huh. deal uh -huh. but it's all naturally made mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shiv is going to Shiv's gonna put it on like you know scramble into like the tunic -y shirt or whatever mm -hmm. um it's nice and warm perfect for winter <laughs> mm, very nice and Olmira, after having taken some sips from her soup, says, I know you're the last one you outgrew. Uh, Shiv does not know what to say. So they, they reach into their bag and they probably pull out, like, one of the nicer sling rocks and just sort of <laughs> slide it over. <laughs> Almira just kind of smiles and then says, The mayor talked with me today. And I know you don't normally get involved with the town, as I don't tend to either. But, well, it's a tradition that you're invited to. If you want to go. Um. Shiv had like the briefest pause of like, oh shit. <laughs> Did that fucking guard snitch on me <laughs> and my arson habits with the fish? <laughs> <laughs> um, but then like, oh, okay, this is the thing. Um. Shiv probably like sn snurfles some of their soup. Mm -hmm. And, um, probably, like, I don't know, it's, it's the expression of, like, raises an eyebrow of, like, hmm, continue, continue. I'm not, I'm not saying no yet. So, this tradition, as you probably have heard from others your age, usually is a coming of age sort of tradition for the people of Kassan. It's dangerous, uh. but my chickens. I can't just leave my chickens. I can take care of them while you're gone. She gives, gives Omira a very serious, like, considering look, and it's like... Omira gives you a very serious look back. She is absolutely serious about this. <laughs> Shiv, Shiv, uh... Shiv makes a considering face and then they reach into their satchel and they pull out their little doll mm -hmm. and they set the doll down on the table and they look at Omira very seriously and then they look at their doll and they're like 
like thinking. They're mm-hmm. thinking. Mm-hmm. They're <laughs> they're talking to the doll in their head, and they're like, hmm, considering, considering, thinking, considering, thinking, considering. Pros, cons, math, science. I don't. Th- 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 I don't know. Um, and they seem to reach like some sort of unspoken conclusion. And they and they put the doll back away and they look at Omira and they're like Princess Fluffy Pants needs to be watched over. She nods. I have been uh noticing how late in that period of mating she has gotten. Shiv wrinkles their nose at the phrasing. Um, yeah, um, but... <laughs> o- Omira just kind of like pauses and blinks owlishly. You know what I mean. <laughs> she did not phrase that well, and she's not good at phrasing things very well. <laughs> no, that's that's valid. Um, and Shiv is just like. <laughs> I guess I can go. I do want to stress it's your decision. Well, I'm going. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) And Omir is just finishing her soup. <laughs> it's your choice, she says. I fucking know, says Shiv, unintentionally like doing ten sorts of psychological like manipulation to both themselves and Omira's commentary, like not helping. <laughs> Reverse psychology's <laughs> self into going. <laughs> So, with, uh, that conversation, all finished up there, um, that's all Amira wanted to say to you besides giving you the, the present of new furs. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, also, when you were trying it on, two, like, moccasin-like shoes fall out. Nice. And those are also lined with fur. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> they are gonna be. They are so fucking cozy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um. And when you decide to leave, Olmira is just uh like putting things away from the. You know, their dinner. Mm hmm. And she says, Happy birthday. As you walk out the door. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shiv. <laughs> oh, fuck, birthday. <laughs> I have one of those. It's more it, it, you're to understand that this is the day that she found you. Ah. So yeah, 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 yeah. Happy birthday, <laughs> man. <laughs> this was an occasion, and Shiv was unaware. <laughs> Surprise. So it's your birthday! <laughs> yeah, so definitely before they leave, they're gonna have to, like, o- Omira's gonna have to, like, find something that Shiv totally didn't make and or get their hands on through one way or another. <laughs> Some sort of gift. <laughs> So, 
if I may. If you may. Over the next couple of days, the three of you prepare yourselves for your journey. Mm. Yes. Flair oh. and D get to know each other. <laughs> Just a little bit. Hey. hey. <laughs> um, but there's not much time for Flair to do that, as Flair needs to A, sleep, because your grandfather is forcing you to sleep and take <laughs> breaks. There's a lot of pouting. Yeah. And B, work on your new uh, weapon. Mm-hmm. And also, you gotta check up on Holgask and talk with Asina and do a whole bunch of things like help Bragger repair his wall again. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> he got really frustrated and burst through his wall. Mm -hmm. Flair very much has a lot of errands and checking up with people and maneuvering around, walking, mm -hmm. going all over town. Flair is one of those kids, one of those people that knows everyone and does a lot of stuff in a single day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, it is the 4th of Neth. It is the morning of the day. So, what are you doing this morning? Um. <laughs> uh, stealing pancake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and roll me thievery for that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sigar caught me with the eggs last time, so I gotta I gotta go for the pancake. <laughs> Thievery, you say. Mm-hmm. So you managed to steal about like three fourths of his pancake before he notices and just like starts <laughs> whacking your fork with his like Can you quit it? Ugh. I'm not going to miss fork. you. <laughs> Ah, uh, you you're definitely going to miss little D. Who are you gonna who are you gonna have in the mornings to talk to? Three whole days. Three whole days of blissful silence. Just get get he just picks up his plate and moves to a different table <laughs> as he waves at you irritably <laughs> I have pushed this man so far beyond <laughs> it's okay he'll have three days to forget that I ran off with his pancakes <laughs> D, D won't follow him and we'll just finish eating peacefully <laughs> <laughs> like I yes, I am a well mannered individual <laughs> um yeah, your food is paid for by Saigar, which is probably partially why he's a little sore that you keep stealing his. I mean, what Saigar hasn't figured out is he could have stolen off of D's plate, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it, it very much was one-sided and it didn't have to be. <laughs> Um, Learn about his fair play, and do you would accept that? <laughs> Flair. Mm hmm. It is morning, and the kind of like uh, shout that you get from uh, your grandfather is breakfast. <sighs> I mean, Flair, and for this time, Flair immediately like is awake. Flair knows what day it is. You know that you know the feel like I, I always had this on field trips. So you know whenever you have like a field trip, 
and you know it's going to be happening. And so you wake up a little bit earlier and are excited and awake, you know? That mm-hmm. kind of vibe is what Flair has. Yeah. And they're already ha- or like halfway into putting on their prosthetic and halfway into like getting like themselves like all situated and such. And it's just like, and they're, and they're like, <laughs> and once again, the usual kind of slides down and hurrying along towards the kitchen living room. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you uh, come to the living room, your grandfather is dressed unusually. Hmm. And if you roll me a local history knowledge check, local knowledge, local knowledge check, um. No. Uh, 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 okay, so what I want you to do is roll me a society check. That's it. Society. Yeah. Okay, I can yep. do that. I know the society. That's. I know society. Where's mm-hmm. society? There's we live society. In a society. We live, in we live in a society. So, what you remember from previous years is that when it comes to this day, everyone in town dresses in black. Mm. As if in mourning. It's, Man. it's tradition. <laughs> mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I mean, except for Holgast, who who never dresses in anything other than his robes. No. <laughs> and he has different colored robes, and he never, like, wears black, even on this day. But everyone else does. And your your grandfather s- smiles. He's almost finished cooking, but not quite. Mm-hmm. Hey there, Kit. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I'm here. I uh, I am all ready. I think. Uh, I have most of my the backpack. Uh, I uh, set up. Uh, I have I have protection. I I I have I finished. I just finished. I just finished with the lands. Uh, mm-hmm. yesterday night and. <laughs> And he, uh, he finishes up the breakfast and spoons your food onto a plate and brings Mm -hmm. it to you. And he says, no, I, I know you're going to do great, but just be safe, okay? And he looks absolutely a little worried. (laughs) But to be fair, this is the first time that you would have properly left and gone so far out of town. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Flair's like, don't worry. I will be very safe. I already got to meet one of the other people who's gonna be with me. Uh, oh. Their name is D. They're the new uh, person. Uh, mm-hmm. And it, it, uh, I, I'm making sure it's gonna be all a safe trip. And everything is gonna be great. I have protection of a thing I can use. I have my prosthetic is all I've I had to trick it a little bit, but it's all nice and functioning. I sh- I we're gonna get rations and food and everything. So yes. everything's gonna go great. He he grins kind of lopsidedly and just like um he leans forward and gives you a kiss on the head. <laughs> Uh, Flair just kind of, like, giggles and just hugs. I'm going to be so safe. I'm going to come back. Uh, and and, and it's going to be great. I'm thinking of maybe setting off a few fireworks with the flame, but not not actually using, you know. Uh, but (laughs) I feel like that would be really fun and great for the town. And making a fun little spectacle with it. And I'm excited. I can tell. Alright, uh, finish your breakfast. Yep, 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 yep. You have to be in the center of town by noon. Okay. Now, Shiv. Shiv! 
Um, Omira has come to your treehouse earlier in the day than usual. Of course, mm -hmm. to simply observe how you take care of your birds. Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very important. And she... Con there's not a lot of conversation that happens between the two of you a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. But she says, The mayor is expecting you in the middle of town when the sun is highest in the sky. Um, that means it's going to be hot out, which Shiv is not looking forward to. Like, to be standing in the middle of the square, where there's probably going to be a lot of people, and the mayor. Hmm, the mayor. They don't really like that guy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. People. <laughs> social commitments. <laughs> they can't <laughs> they can't back out of this now unfortunately no. um <laughs> and they just kind of like nod 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 internally don't forget your furs it will be cold nod 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 shiv's probably at least wearing the shirt mm-hmm Uh, for sure, Z worsties. Um, <laughs> someone get them a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, they they will walk Omira through their whole like thing and like explain what they do at night, mm -hmm. um, and et cetera, et cetera. And to watch out for that fucking weird dog fox thing that sometimes comes close. <laughs> Olmira uh, nods very certainly. Yeah. Um, and they probably, like, pack their stiff. You know, totally important stiff. Like, um... What's... I, I know they had something funny. Um, a pinwheel and mm -hmm. marbles, you know, <laughs> very important. Um, but yeah, and then they probably like eat and you, you know, mm -hmm. they do their usual. Yeah. The usual routine. Yep. You'll Oof. pry it from their cold, dead hands. <laughs> So, with your guys' morning routines normally out of the way, you head to the center of town and find it empty, except for each other. I fucking hate that. Mm. It's a little bit before noon, though. So, what are you three doing? We're gonna Shit. die. <laughs> Shiv is immediately like finding like the nearest like place, the nearest corner to skulk hide in in the shade. D will join. Blair is like a, like walking up here and like sees the two group and it's like, Shiv, D, and kind of like ushers towards them. It's like, oh, we're going to this corner now, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Or like penguins <laughs> huddling in the corner together. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Flair at least knows of Shiv. <laughs> I feel like Shiv is pretty infamous. <laughs> <laughs> and since Flair talks to everyone, Flair knows of Shiv from Kier and Omira. Mm -hmm. And that one guard who keeps stopping Shiv from using the, like, wet wood to make fires. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Flair has occasionally seen Shiv around and in the forest, you know? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're now guys... all standing in the corner. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you guys are here for the Aerofane Crypt, too? Of course. 
<laughs> Shiv squints at them both. <laughs> Just like slowly nods. <laughs> nice. Uh uh Sting should be starting up around noon, I think. Uh yeah. As a warning, cause uh, everyone's gonna be like dressed in black and everything, and it's gonna be like a whole little uh, thingamabob. Uh, but then we should be a uh, thing good to go once we get all the stuff and all that. I'm trying to let the mayor will give a rundown on things, but yeah. Is it usually abandoned at like? Is it usually abandoned here before everybody shows up, or...? Ah, uh, Is it? You don't remember. I... Don't remember. I really... Last time, um... That I kind of got into a little bit of an accident, so I technically couldn't really watch. So... But I am here now. So no idea. Understandable. I suppose we wait, then. Mm-hmm. Bong. 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 The bells atop the Temple of Aristil toll their midday song, echoing throughout the quiet town of Kasson. As the peals begin to fade, the first of the townsfolk make their way into the square, dressed in black as if attending a funeral. They slowly fill the square, moving quietly across the cold, hard ground, their eyes downcast and mournful. After a few moments, a murmur passes through the crowd as it slowly parts to let, let Mayor Uptoll through. He leads the way with a tarnished silver lantern. Behind him, an old pony drags a cart laden with backpacks and supplies. Once he reaches the center of the crowd... Mayor Uptol stops and calls out to the assembled townsfolk. <laughs> Once again, the winter winds blow through the Fang Wood, marking the end of another harvest. There are wolves in the woods, howling at our walls, and serpents in our shadows, waiting to strike. Just as it was once 174 years ago, when Kassin himself left these walls to protect us, so it is today. Where are the heroes? Where are the brave folk that will venture out to Kassan's tomb and retrieve the flame to keep this community safe for another winter? That's our cue. And then Fred kind of like gets up and like <laughs> ushers the other two over. Uh, do, you, do you will be will allow to be ushered? I'm sorry, all I'm getting in my head is the imagery of fucking Flair pushing Shiv by the shoulders. <laughs> and like Shiv sliding along the ground. <laughs> um, the crowd of townspeople do part for you to let you through. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk to the middle, the mayor uh, gives you a solemn but kind smile. <clears throat> We're gonna die. <laughs> we are going to fucking die. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> Who among you will have the honor of carrying the lantern? Do you guys want to carry it? Uh, Shiv will take it very slowly. He. It's free lantern. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> he. <laughs> he. As you reach for it, he offers it to you, but puts a hand over yours as you grasp it and say. Please, use this to bring back the flame to Kassan. And he looks into your eyes very, like, intently. Like, I am entrusting you with this. This is very Shiv important. Is... <laughs> Shiv meets eyes for, like, half a second, and then immediately averts eye contact, and it is, like, the most uncomfortable, like, <laughs> stiff-bodied movement of taking the lantern. Jim says, do not perceive me. <laughs> with that, um, with that, he then hands each of you a backpack that mm -hmm. contains five days worth of rations, a small tent, a winter blanket, a full water skin, a piece of the trail map, 
and um, there's 50 feet of rope, a box containing tinder and three tinder wigs, a potion, three torches, a grappling hook, and a bottle of potion. brandy all spread out evenly between you. <laughs> we got okay. We got booze. <laughs> Let's go. Um. Hold on Sending a, sec. a bunch of teenagers to the woods <laughs> with a bottle of booze. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is the coming of age age uh <laughs> ceremony for you. Yep. After Amazing. you complete this, you will be adults. <laughs> we get that boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, hold on a sec as I find each of you individually to give you the pieces of the map. Hey. Individually. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Teamwork. Fuck. You must teamwork. Hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Small one here. Where are you, audio? To do. <laughs> send a message. One sec. So you'll be on top. Thank you. <laughs> It's me, boy, PS5. Ooh, I think I got the middle. <laughs> I think I got the bottom. I got the the starter map. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you have your packs, the mayor once again speaks to the townsfolk. I present to you the brave heroes who will follow in Kassan's footsteps to retrieve the Everflame. Some of them may not return, but I say to you that their sacrifice <clears throat> shall not be forgotten. <laughs> Shiv's like, Shiv's like, Hold on, I like, am still talking. He's like, what? Larry's face, like, have, like, twist to a, like, ha, huh, that is a very interesting way of saying it. Go, brave heroes, and do not return until you have the eternal fire. And with that, the mayor points to the south, the direction of Kassan's tomb. The townsfolk begin waving goodbye with cold, solemn looks on most of their faces. We are getting fucking <laughs> sacrificed like <laughs> virginal youth. <laughs> what kind of far quad is this guy? Cold ass bullshit we didn't even know about. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, as the, the mayor finishes this speech, he just kind of like uh, goes back into the crowd. But the people are still there. And some of them are standing there for a moment solemnly before starting to disperse to their normal, to what normally happens for the day. What are you mm -hmm. guys doing? Alright. Uh, shall we start our head, head out then? Shiv is like, they are, <laughs> we are going to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's like a whole tradition, I'm pretty sure it's like a whole traditional like speech and stuff that they have to say that, I think, I hope. I don't know. Uh, Flair, you but, remember no. Asina saying that there were rumors that people died on this expedition. <laughs> but Flair this is to be all, optimistic. This is, but she also said that it was a rumor spread by the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, take that as you will. Um, mm -hmm. People aren't dispersing as fast as they normally would. Some of them are gathered in, like, pockets talking to each other. So? Can D tell... I guess based on... Because D has the part with Kassan marked on it, right? Mm -hmm. So, if, 
presumably based on that map and the map of the city, right? We're supposed to go south. So D will just nod and start heading in that direction. Okay. <laughs> Claire uh, looks at Shif and kind of like offers a hand if Shif so desires. Um, Shiv is good for now because Shiv does not know, uh, Shiv does not know, uh, Flair so well. So, mm-hmm. uh, Shiv will do the awkward, like, pat, pat the hand and then just start walking. <laughs> uh, Flair just smiles and nods and, uh, walks alongside with all, everybody. Okay, so you're leaving town? Mm-hmm. Uh, Flair is also, like, waving goodbye to some of the people around and such, and, you know. They... You know, it's, like, keeping up mm. the nice, upbeat mm-hmm. attitude. Yeah, they, um, they still give you that kind of solemn face as they wave you goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Saigar in the, in the area as well? Saigar, um, yeah, he was standing, like, to the back of the crowd, but you spotted him. It, he's not hard to spot. He's not being sneaky. <laughs> we pa- will we pass him on the way out of town? No, because he was behind the crowd, and the crowd is behind facing crowd. south. Okay. okay, maybe we don't. Then we will. We will be mature adults. Um. <laughs> I, I you know, honestly, you you can start going now, or you could you know, gather a little more information. You don't have to immediately leave. Ah. Oh, I was debating this. <laughs> if we pass my sidecar, D was going to flip him the bird on the way. <laughs> oh, my God. But <laughs> <laughs> if he's in the back of the crowd, then D's not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the line of questioning there. <laughs> um... Okay, um, hang on, let me get the map of town back up. <laughs> Is nine, nine we said was, um... Bragger's shop. Bragger's shop. That's Bragger's shop. Okay, mm-hmm. I had it backwards. Um, is in front of Bragger's shop relatively clear of people? Um, there, in front of Bragger's shop is, there's a pocket, like two mm-hmm. or three people discussing things quietly, to the side, but there's less people there, yeah. Gotcha. Um, I was gonna say, if we wanna gather some information before we leave town, D might get them away, like, cause they're at a bada ba, heading south, but whenever there is relatively clear of people area, D mm-hmm. might shoot off a little bit from there to kind of like have a huddle before they leave town. Okay. But knowing full well that Shiv doesn't like crowds and that D's not super comfortable at the center of attention either, mm-hmm. that they might be better off a little further away. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, we've all got bits of map. Do we want to have a look before we get too far? Mm-hmm. I think I got the end bit of it. Middle. Top. So I've got the direction. It seems I've got the direction from Cassin. Um, and it appears we need to go south. Going mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, do we share the map pieces? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you can... You can... So you can sh- share the the point of me handing it to you individually is that you get those individually in your backpacks. Okay. Okay. Well, we can you can see share. other maps. You can share if you want to. Okay. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Well, that's great. <laughs> That explains the. Why is there something called Serpent Gorge? Presumably, that's the snakes they were talking about. 
It's probably the ravine. I'm more concerned with why the line goes off the map. It goes into the, the crypt thingy. Mm -hmm. Why don't they have a map of the crypt? Uh, Is it just full of dead people? I mean, it's a crypt, so... I hope there's not gonna go... Ugh. Blech. <laughs> um <laughs> so we have supplies mm -hmm. and we have a direction mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you guys it... have weapons uh yes Shiv um Shiv is wearing like a giant gauntlet with like you know so mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. it's, they have that, and they also pull out, like, a sling. Um. Ooh. And, mm -hmm. yeah. They got, they got stuff. They got stuff. Shiv mm -hmm. is armed and dangerous. Yes. <laughs> Beware. All right. So we've got rope for the gorge. I don't know why I'm going breaking. And uh, hook. Yes. And hmm. Can we think of anything? Can we think of anything that we might need before we go? I mean, I think we basically got everything from the mayor. Mm-hmm. I guess we can talk around and see if like anybody else knows anything about anything. Uh who are they able to tell us? I have no idea. You could certainly try. Who is over in front of Bragger's shop? Do we recognize anybody? So, the couple of people who are talking, um, one of them uh, appears to be... Let me look at the list. One of them appears to be Arnama, the ranger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, another of... Arnama is uh, talking with... <sighs> Some people you, you don't know. Mm -hmm. But they're they are dressed uh, similarly to her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we could talk to uh, Miss uh, Lestrid. Uh, she's a ranger, so she probably knows the area around pretty well and could give us like a nice little hints or anything like that. Sure, certainly would help to know what we might face other than the snakes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's like super cool. She's very cool. All right. Do you know her personally or just by more like passing? I mean, sometimes I like you know, I, I know like almost everybody. Not like fully like know everybody, but like personally, personally. But uh, we have like said hi to each other before and yada yada yada. So you know. Sure, sure. I understand. Uh, in that case, why don't we go ask if there's anything she can tell us and perhaps be on our way from there. Mm -hmm. mm, Blair is going to take the lead on this one, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Um, so as you approach, uh, the other one of the other two stops uh, talking and they all turn to you and Amara gives you a smile. Is this uh, last it? Uh, hey! Hi. It's been a while. Yes, I've been rather busy. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, so, uh, I mean, the whole ceremony, so you've obviously seen. Do you think you could give us, like, uh, like, tips and such? Because I know you go, like, around the forest and all this and that. Like, do you have any tips? 
and such because you are the expert i feel um so give me a diplomacy check mm -hmm. boy i got a role for interacting with people how dare <laughs> This is basically to convince her to tell you things. <laughs> so she she looks at the three of you and looks how and sees how nervous Shiv looks. Shiv isn't nervous. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you you <laughs> you're uh, acting like Shiv was possibly no, quite yeah. nervous no, yeah. about no, what yeah. was going no, to yeah. go down no, yeah. and yeah. you're good you're good and she gives you a gentle smile and says i wouldn't worry too much there are wolves and there are things that you may have to overcome but it is mostly safe mostly safe yes Neato. the the wolves, it's getting to be winter, so they are more actively hunting. Hungry. So I okay. would watch out for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can but... you eat wolves? <laughs> if you can manage to take one down and cook it properly. I wouldn't attempt, though, especially right now. They would be kind of gamey. Hmm. 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 <laughs> well, Shiv chews on that thought. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... Do you will just kind of like nod around, like, okay, wolves, snakes, they want me dead. I'm sure we'll be fine. We, uh, uh, so what's the tip about like nighttime kind of stuff? Because so, I know, yes, mm -hmm. I would look for a place that's level with mm -hmm. protection on at least three sides. Mm -hmm. And you should be good for the night. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We can do that. I... All of the uh, pomp and circumstance this earlier is just for show. You shouldn't worry. Nobody's actually died, okay? Okay. Thank goodness, because like some of the kids were saying that some people have actually died, <laughs> and I was like a little bit worried about that. But no. that's really good to hear. I think the last time um, I had to carry someone back because they hurt their leg, but that's about it. Excellent. I only have one leg to worry about, so that is great. <laughs> And Flair, like, turns towards the two of them and like, gives them a very encouraging smile. Shiv gives Flair a dubious look, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. You know how Thank big you. wolves are? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're big. But also, we're three. And... I'm three! I mean, like, we're three people! <laughs> not that we're three years old. I'd be th I'm pretty sure that that will not be great. If we were actually three years old. I thought we... Mm, have concerns about what would be considered an adult at that point. I don't think a three-year-old could take down a wolf. Mm, probably Thank not. you so much for your advice and for your warnings. We appreciate we appreciate it very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Tears. <Tia Schwartz. laughs> 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Talk to you afterwards. That's what Flair said. Mm hmm. We're in the middle of talking to this person about how there are wolves, and we're going on this sacred, sacred, sacred Sacred. traditional journey, and y'all are arguing over being three-year-olds and (laughs) taking down wolves. (laughs) Yeah, this is important. (laughs) So, uh, you guys are leaving. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Sacred. Head in south. Sacred traditions. Like what? We're heading south to go get the evil flame. <laughs> and well, it uh, the first two hours of your journey are uneventful. That's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. But as the narrow path winds through the raking claws of the trees, now bereft of their leaves, which crunch loudly underfoot, up ahead, a fallen tree trunk blocks your path. Suddenly, a trio of snarling humanoids leap up from behind the log, all greenish skin and fearsome tusks, bellowing vulgar challenges. Hey, wait, hey, wait. I was gonna say, Yo, is it an orcish? An orcish, it sounds oh like. <laughs> it but sounds it is... like. Hey, what? <laughs> and like, something about your mother? <laughs> oh my god. Do you will immediately <laughs> yell back, I'll use your bones for soup? I. Oh my god. Can Can Shiv also start yelling and going into detail about, like. Oh my god. The the orc's familiar history and also about how Shiv will fucking tear them apart and feed them to the cats. I am. I am going to have to say that either we can start this combat now. Because this is combat. This is initiative right here. Or we could do yeah. that next time. But I wanted to, like, read that part and be like... <laughs> Probably <laughs> next time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Can Shivril intimidation, though? <laughs> yeah. yeah! Go ahead. Cool, 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 cool. Next time... Can't believe two thirds of us. We will start this uh, combat with Shiv's seventeen in intimidation, (laughs) and with rolling for combat. (laughs) Thank you for joining us for this wonderful start to an adventure. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.